So we'll talk about connections, how to create a new connection. Over here on the far left is the activity bar. These are the primary controls for the different sections within Azure Data Studio. The very first one represents servers. And as you see, as I clicked on that, it changed the sidebar. So there's a lot of interaction as you go from perhaps your folders, that's just your file system that you've opened up to GitHub or extensions or servers that will refresh what you see in the sidebar. The sidebar in this case is going to show me all of the servers that I've connected to previously. You'll notice that they are grouped and the groupings can be color coded. The level of the connection can be at the server level which is most common if you're using SQL Server Management Studio, you come in at the server level, then you get to you know, view the databases, uh, et cetera. But also notice I've connected to a couple of different types of servers. So I can connect at the server level, I can connect at the database level. I can connect to Azure directly, or there is an Azure browsing capability. I've got a Postgres server that I've connected to. I've got SQL Server on Linux. So most of my development work is done here under local. This is my local machine. The gold copy or the copy of these databases that we use for a distribution are, are obviously labeled here. This is nothing more than just an instance of SQL Server Developers Edition. In order to create a new connection, you can click on this particular icon and then it'll pop over on the right, just a uh, dialog box where you could say what's your server and you can give it a, a real name or I'll, you can just do local host. You can tell it what type of authentication. If you're hitting Azure, you can use multi-factor authentication. You can give it a specific database. Maybe I want to use my admin database. You can give it a friendly name, uh, you know, easy name. Then you can also put in a grouping here. Notice it lists the groups that I already have, but you could choose to do a new group or you could just uh, use whatever default value. So if I were to say new, it would pop up. This is my new group. You can give it a description, a color, and then choose OK. And so now you can see I've got this new group created. Now for my connection, I'll choose OK. And now I've got my connection in here. So it's a handy way to organize your connections in Azure Data Studio.